Hello there, Dasfunya here, and today I'm going to be showing you a calculator I programmed in Modern Warfare 2. It's just a basic calculator, uh, did it for fun, there's no purpose in it, uh, other than practice, whatever, making menus, but um, here it is. So the controls are you click on any button you want, um, and it, you know it does its calculations, and if you're wondering why there's those trailing zeros, there's nothing you can do about it, that's just the way Modern Warfare 2 handles local variables with floats and menu files. Don't ask why, don't know, don't care, it's just usually a visual thing. But, um, so you could do that, and you can use the numpad too if you want to type with it, and, um, that's pretty cool, I guess. Sometimes there's errors, I don't know. Uh, yeah, you see that calculation's f kind of fucked up. I mean, it's as good as you really can get with... Um, with fucking menu files. I mean, usually it works most of the time. It's better to stay within small calculations, but... Eh. You do what you gotta do. If you break it, not my fault. Uh, if you break the calculation, you probably did something way too large, but whatever. Yeah, see, there's that. Mm. So the controls on the numpad are as follows. The, the, I mean, they're all labeled as they are on the numpad. The only thing is enter is equals and numlock is to clear. And you have to hold shift if numlock is activated, just so you know. Because I'm sure you don't use your numpad too much, so you have to hold shift to type with it if numlock is on. Uh, you don't have to if you press enter plus minus times or divide, but you have to with the numbers. But So that's about it. Uh, the I'll have a pastebin link to the menu file code. I, you can replace any menu you want with it. I just did it with the quit menu because it's the quickest to get to when I start up the game, so... That's what I did. All you have to do is change the min the uh, menu definition name in the source code, and then rename the file to whatever. Uh, th the file name and the menu def name need to be the same in order to replace a menu correctly. If you don't do either one of those, if you don't do one of those, then it's not going to replace the menu correctly, and you're going to get an error. So, have fun.